Okay, settle down into constructive rest pose. Lying on the floor with your knees bent. Look at your feet are in line with your sit bones. You want to have the hip joint, the center of the knee joint, the center of the ankle, ankle joint, the middle toe all in a line. And spread your shoulder blades out. Relax the arms with the palms turned up. Soften your shoulders, relax your neck. Take a moment to settle down into the floor, relaxing the belly, soften your face, feel your breath coming in and out. And bring your attention down to the pelvic floor the tailbone, the sit bones, the pubic bone form the anchor of the muscles that form that um, muscular shelf, diaphragm with the pelvic floor. Picture the diamond shape of muscles formed by those four points. Exhale, gather in as though you could pull all the four points in towards the perineum. Feel each one of the four points coming into the center and then relax that. And again, exhale, let them gather into the center. Kind of squeeze the sphincters a little bit. Don't tilt the pelvis, just engage the pelvic floor. And then release, relax. Once again, gather the four points in. Engage the sphincters, this time draw the perineum towards the crown of the head. Again, we're keeping a neutral pelvis, just feeling that work at the bottom of the torso and release. And move your attention up just a little bit, feeling the transversus abdominis, the horizontal support of muscles. Feel it like a big, broad belt, and inhale. With the exhale, wrap that belt snug around the lower back, the hips, the low belly, and then relax. Picture the belt again, inhale. And exhale, gather it around. Feel that circle, circling motion around your whole lower uh, torso. And then release, relax. Once again, exhale, gather the belt of the transversus, nice and snug. It's helping you keep your lower back supported, your pelvis neutral, and release. Arms down to the sides. Inhale. Preparing for your inner core, combining the pelvic floor and the belt of the transversus. Exhale, shrink the pelvic floor, gather the belt. Maintain that and inhale, arms float up. And then renew your inner core, reach your arms back. Using your inner core muscles to stabilize the lower back and pelvis in neutral. Inhale, the arms up. And exhale, arms come back down. Let everything soften. Again, inhale, arms float up. Exhale, stabilize with the inner core and reach back. And inhale, bring the arms up to the ceiling. Let the humeral heads drop into the sockets. Exhale, release the arms down. And once again, inhale, arms float up. Exhale, reach back, support your neutral spine. And inhale, arms float to the ceiling. Keep your arms in vertical. Then reach the fingertips up to the ceiling and drop slowly the shoulders and the arms back down to the floor. And lift. And exhale, drop the shoulders, humeral heads into the socket, soften. And once again, lift. And drop the shoulders, let the humeral heads come deep into the socket, settle down there. And then hands behind the head. Inhale, feel your ribs flare. Exhale, draw your front ribs together, imprint the back ribs. At the same time, press your elbows down into the floor. And inhale, relax. And again, exhale, knit the front ribs, imprint the back ribs, and press the elbows down into the floor. Inhale, relax. One last time. Exhale, and knit and imprint. Press the elbows down. And add your inner core muscles, the pelvic floor and the belt, and exhale, up into a head lift. Inhale, lower down. Again, exhale, head lift, keeping your neutral lower spine. Inhale, lower down. One more time, exhale up, keep your head up. 
Re-anchor our leg the alternate leg lifts, lift the right foot up, flex your foot, extend the leg out with the toes pulling back towards the knee. Inhale, bend the knee and re-anchor, lower down, keeping your neutral spine, your pelvis steady, lift, left leg up, flex your foot, extend your leg out, inhale, bend the knee and exhale, lower back down. And back to the right side, lift, exhale, flex, extend, reach out through the heel, inhale, bend the knee and then lower the foot with the exhale, Re-anchor, take the left up, exhale, reach away with the heel, inhale and bend the knee, stabilize as you lower, and one last time, right foot up, exhale, reach away, inhale, bend the knee and re-anchor, lower your foot, and then the left side up, and flex, extend, inhale, bend the knee, and exhale, re-anchor, and lower the head down. Relax your arms by your sides, feel your neutral spine, Soften down into gravity. And then reset the inner core. Let your ribs knit and imprint. Relax your shoulders. Lift your right foot up. Imprint your back ribs and lift your left foot up. And we're going to circle our ankles here. And reverse. And then flex the feet back. And then keeping the toes pulled back, reach forward with the ball of the foot, like a Barbie doll's foot. And then point the toes. Pull the toes back, back into that Barbie foot, flex your whole foot back. Reach out through the ball of the foot, then point the toes. Pull the toes back, flex the whole foot back. One more time, reach out through the ball of the foot, point the toes, pull the toes back. Pull the whole foot back and keep it flexed as you squeeze your toes and fan them. And squeeze and fan and squeeze and fan. Good, relax your feet. Re-anchor in your neutral tabletop and exhale into some pistons, keeping the back ribs anchored and imprinted into the mat. Exhale, lower, and inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Exhale, down, inhale, up, last one with the left. Good, take the knees wide, flop them apart, and circle your knees in big, broad, loose circles. Really stir them around with the arms and reverse. And give the knees a hug into the chest. And return out into your neutral tabletop. Re-anchor. We're going to lower the left foot down and bring the right ankle to the left knee. Left hand behind the head for the muffin tops. We're going to keep the pelvis really anchored and exhale. Lift up on the diagonal left armpit towards the right knee. And inhale, lower down. Exhale, up on the diagonal. Inhale, come back down. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, lower. Two more times. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, down. Last one. Exhale, up. Now stay there and pulse for 10 pulses. I'm going to feel your right waist working. This is why they call it the muffin tops. I just explained this to one of my private clients today. It's like the top of the muffin, the way it comes over the muffin cup. Lower down. That's what we don't want happening over our waistband. That's, that's the origin of the name of that exercise. Okay, re-anchor, lower the right foot and keep steady as you bring the left foot up, left ankle, ankle to the right knee. Right hand behind the head, your left arms relaxed at your sides. Inner core is engaged, ribs are knitting and imprinting and you're gonna reach your uh, right arm over to your left knee and then lower down. And exhale, up and over on that diagonal. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, reach with the armpit, more than the elbow. Exhale, up and over with the armpit, and inhale, down. Last one, up on the diagonal and stay. Pulse for five, and pulse for five more. And release back down. Lower the arm, lower the foot. Take a moment. Then reset the inner core, ribs knitting and imprinting, stable pelvis, lift the left foot up, keep your imprint going, raise your right foot up, hands to the side, preparing for the hundred, knit the ribs, press the palms, lift the head, extend the legs, we're going to do a turned out position today, rolling out of the socket with the legs, and exhale for five pulses, and inhale for five, exhale for five, and inhale. 
Exhale, pulsing the arms, keep the shoulders, drop the chin into the chest. Exhale for five. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Think of your oblique smile. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. And lower down. Put your head down and your knees. Keep them turned out and then bring them into the armpits. Just stretch for a moment there. And bring the knees close together. Extend the left leg out onto the floor. The right leg up to the ceiling. Take a moment to settle your neutral pelvis. Point the toes. Pull your right kneecap towards your hip socket. And then sit with the pelvis steady. Five leg circles one way. Keeping the ribs and the hips anchored. Leg nice and long. And then reverse and do five circles the other. And then lower that leg straight down to the floor. And bring your left knee into your chest. And reach up. Straighten the left leg, point the toes, anchor. Five circles one way, keeping your pelvis still, your ribs anchored. And then five the other way. And then lower the leg straight down. Arms at your sides. Keep the legs straight. Bring them into parallel so they're not flopping out. Active through the legs. We're going to scoop the belly. Feel the belt. Ribs knitting and imprinting. And press into your heels and see if you can do a little bit of a bridge. Raise the hips up. Feel your hamstrings working. If you, um, if you want to little test that, take your arms up off of the mat. Lower back down. Flatten your spine. Scoop your belly and lift up again. And release back down. One more time. And release back down. Bring both knees into the chest. Bring the little rock side to side. Let's do the abdominal series. Anchoring with your belt, your um, knitting and imprinting of the ribs. Lift your head. Neutral spine, single leg stretch, stretch the left leg out, bending the right knee, touching the bent leg, and switch, and switch. Chin into the chest, elbows nice and wide. Neutral spine. We're keeping the pelvis steady in each one of these parts of the abdominal series. Head down, bring the knees to the chest, relax the neck, drop the shoulders. We go into the double leg stretch, establish your neutral tabletop, set your low core and your ribs knee imprinting, keeping the neutral spine, lift the head, maintain the neutral spine, make sure your back ribs imprint, exhale, reach the arms and the legs away from the center, inhale, bend the knees and circle the arms back around to meet. The spine stays still the whole time. Exhale out and inhale, come back in. Exhale out. So your head should be remaining at the same position. Your neck um, is pulling your chin into your chest. Don't let your head go back down towards the floor. Keep a nice steady position all the way up the spine, including the neck. Exhale, reach away from the center. Inhale, bend the knees and circle. Remember, you're not going to pull the knees in close when you circle around. You're just touching them and maintaining your neutral lower back. One more time. And now one hand on each knee, head down. Now pull the knees in. Relax the neck. And then return into the center. Reestablish your neutral tabletop. Inner core, pelvic floor, belt, ribs knitting and imprinting. Lift the head. Take one leg straight up and one leg straight down. Hold the up leg at the back of the thigh or the back of the calf and switch. If your neck is very tired, you can put your hands behind your head. Um, this makes the abdominal work a little tiny bit harder. 
Clap, claps for your neck, so do what works. It's nice if you can touch the legs and you get a little um, more opportunity to stretch. And we're gonna bring the knees to the chest and put the head down again. Take a moment, you can flatten the back and rest the neck. Now, if your hip flexors are getting really tight in the front, you can go ahead and take a pelvic lift in between knees. Let's re-anchor and prepare for the double straight leg stretch. And we'll come behind the head. Spine is in neutral. Anchor, lift the head, stretch the legs straight up. And then keep your neutral spine and bend your knees. This is an alternative. If you can't do the whole double straight leg stretch, you can just keep your neutral, bend the knees and straighten them. If your hip flexors and your back are okay, then you can lower the legs down slightly, but make sure you keep your neutral lower back. Come back up. Watch those back ribs as well. They're going to stay imprinting. The lower the legs go, the greater the challenge there. But keep them imprinting. Keep your neutral spine. And nice and slow when you come back up. Try not to boomerang back. Be in control the whole time. And then lower down, take a little break. One more part of the abdominal series, the crisscross. Really key to keep the pelvis still as we do this because there's so much movement in the limbs. So find your neutral, engage the inner core, the ribs are moving and imprinting, the head's lifting. Then the legs are gonna bicycle and you reach on the diagonal. And remember the way you reached when we did the muffin top exercise, Reach with the armpit. So steady the pelvis. Reach with the armpit. Really nice big rotation in the whole thorax. And if you can manage it, stretch that leg out high and bring it down low. So you get the bicycle movement and you get a little hip flexor stretch thrown in too. By the way, this is harder if you go more slowly. So if you want a little challenge, take it slower. Okay, head down, knees into the chest, relax the neck. Let's return to a neutral tabletop. Engage the low core, feel the ribs knitting and imprinting. Lower the left foot down, and then the right foot down. And relax in neutral. I'm going to do a pelvic lift, preserving the neutral spine. So if you've got a pillow behind your head, please take it out. Let's put the thumbs on the low ribs, the fingers on the hips. There should be no compression of the space between the hips and the ribs when we hinge. So we're going to do a neutral spine pelvic lift. Engage the inner core, wrap your belt around, let your ribs knit around to the back pockets, and then press into your feet and raise your hips up without shortening the distance between the hips and the ribs. When we roll, that distance will shorten, but not when we stay neutral. And then hinge down, the movement happens in the hip joint. If you keep those two points equal between hips and ribs, then you'll hinge at the big hip joint. Let's try it again. Inhale, uh, prepare for your inner core. Feel your ribs knit to the back pockets. Then press into your feet, lift the hips. Maintaining the distance between the hips and the ribs, and back down. Try not to squeeze the ribs and the hips towards each other. One more time, inner core, rib knitting, press into the feet and lift up, keeping your neutral, and hinge back down. Keep maintaining your neutral, and relax. We're giving you the hug. And then turn over on to your left side. Okay, so nobody responded to me yet. I've been doing my side kicks every day. I'm so curious if anyone else is, or even if you're doing them occasionally. 
Um, can you feel a difference? Okay. Lying out long on the left side, feet a little bit forward of the hips, pelvis tilted. Engage the inner core, take your organ lift, raise the legs up five times up and down with the top leg. And then five times down and up with the bottom leg. Then squeezing the thighs five times forward and back. Scissoring, maintaining the distance between the hips and the ribs again. And then in the center, five circles, five circles one way, five circles the other way. Squeeze the inner thighs, externally rotate, and scissor. Top leg can go up nice and high, and then be sure as you close them together that the bottom thigh is really working and lifting. So lift up, scissoring, and come down. Stay externally rotated. Lift. Squeeze into the center. Make sure the bottom leg really works as you come up. And one more time. Squeeze. And then pulse, uh, five pulses. And five more. And then release. Okay, we're gonna keep the hips nice and long in the front. Bending the knees behind us. Just a 15 here. Clam shells, that's zero degree flexion. Keep the right hip forward. You can use your belt to stabilize the pelvis. Use your inner core and your organ lift. Okay, let's stretch it out uh, with the spinal twist. Drop your right knee to the floor in front of you. Left hand on the right knee, reach the right arm out. And go to where you feel a good stretch in the right hip. And then hug the knees. And turn over onto your right side. Feet a little forward, tuck your left hip forward. Engage your inner core and your organ lift, squeeze the inner thighs and both legs lift. Top leg up and down five times. And bottom leg down and up five times. Notice how different this feels from when, the, when we do it in turnout a little bit later. And then we're gonna scissor five times forward and back. Remember you want your ribs and your hips to stay still in space. And return to the center for five circles. If you like, your bottom leg can go down now. Reverse for five. Then squeeze the inner thighs, externally rotate, scissor. And be sure your bottom leg really lifts up as you bring the top leg down. Stay turned out. And then return to the center, pulse for five. Five more, and then release. Bring the legs down, bend at your knees so your feet are behind you, engage your inner core, take your organ lift, and roll the thigh out in the socket. Three sets of five. Give your knee reaching away from your head. And then we'll stretch it out. Drop the left knee to the floor in front of you. Right hand on the left knee. And stretch your left arm out to the side. Concentrating on the stretch in the hip now more than the shoulder. So relax the left shoulder. Bring your attention down to the hip. And then to the back, hug the knees. And turn over onto your stomach. Hands under the forehead. 
Legs comfortably separated and relaxed. Engage the inner core. Pull the ribs together. Lift the chest, arm, and head. Head. Arms and head. Huh. And lower down. Just one of your heads, please. Both arms. Engage the inner core. Knit the ribs. Lift the chest, arms, and head up. And lower down. Once more. Exhale up. And inhale down. Okay, come into Sphinx. I'm going to pull the belly in, tuck the tail, press into the forearms, draw the shoulders down the back. Feel your belt snug around and your ribs knitting together. And one leg at a time. Bend at the knee, kick, kick, and kick, 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 kick. Pull the shoulders down the back. And last time, curling yourself back into a child's pose. Stretch your arms way out in front of you. Then we're going to bring the hands together and prepare for a plank. So um, move your torso forward so your shoulders are over your elbows. The fingers are interlaced. Engage your core. I'm going to stretch one leg out, tuck the toes under. Pull your ribs in, stretch the other leg out, tuck those toes under. And then we're going to stay in the plank for a little bit. Press down into the forearms. We want to feel the shoulder blades kind of curling around the body, um, not, not jutting towards each other and um, not winging off the back, but like they're curling, cupping around the sides of the body. Press down into the forearms, draw your shoulders down your back. Feel the obliques crossing in the front. Now, if your shoulders are feeling strong, you should push back a little bit so that your shoulders are behind your elbows and then come forward so they're aligned and over top of them again. Push back and come forward, working the serratus anterior. One more time, push back. Come forward. We'll bring the knees to the floor. Return to your child's pose. Your arms are still stretched out in front of you. Keep your elbows right where they are. Fold at the elbows and bring the hands onto the upper back. Take a moment there. Feel the stretch in the backs of the armpits, down the sides. And then extend the arms out in front of you again. Lift up. And then turn around to your back. Actually, sit up. And sit with the knees bent. Hands on the outer thighs. Lift the chest. Scoop the belly. Draw your belt snug and your ribs wrap around. Tilt yourself back. So you're way back on your sacrum. Keep your feet on the floor. Draw the belly in. And then descend down a little further. Keep your feet on the floor and come down into the back ribs or down on the floor. Keep pulling the belly button in. Now keep drawing your belly to your spine. Straighten your legs out. And then lower your head down. Relax a moment there. We're going to keep the hands on the outer thighs. Engage the inner core. Scoop the belly. Reach the ribs around and imprint them. And then roll up, keep your feet on the floor and your hands on the outer thighs. Feel that place where your back ribs are down on the mat, your sacrum's down on the mat, and then bring yourself forward and slide forward, stretching out the back. Relax the neck and shoulders. And then we're going to go down again, keep the hands on the outer thighs, scoop the belly in. See if you can pause with the sacrum flat on the floor. And then pull the belly in and go down a little further to feel the back ribs on the floor. And release all the way down. Relax. One last time. Inner core. Scoop the belly to tuck the pelvis. Ribs knitting imprinting. Come up, feel the back ribs. 
So the sacrum, come forward and stretch. Flex your feet back, make sure your feet are parallel. Um, watch out for the little toes being forward and the big toes. Keep them in line. Sit yourself tall. We didn't do any side bending, so let's do a little bit of side bending. I'm going to sit um, in the mermaid sit. Now go into a cross-legged position with your left foot on the outside of the cross-legged, and then turn your right leg inside out. I'm going to bring the right hand down onto the floor. Reach the right sit bone. Sorry, the left hand down onto the floor. Reach your right sit bone down to the floor and stretch your right side. And then sit up. And we'll reverse the legs. So the right leg is just like it would be for a cross-legged position. Left leg is inside out. Right hand on the floor. Left arm up and over. Stretch down with your left arm, or your, stretch down with your left sit bone and reach up and over with your left arm. Big long stretch in your left side. And then sit tall. Put the soles of the feet together. Lengthen the breastbone up. Drop your chin down and bend down just a little bit. yourself tall and that'll do it. Have a great rest of the day. Um, love to hear how your sidekicks, your plank, your roll-ups are going. We'll see you Saturday. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.